Yeah, you heard right. I'm doing something most people I know are too afraid to attempt. Sounds like the most reckless yet somehow rewarding thing a person can do with their life. Actually, I'm doing the thing I told people as a child I would do. But because reality didn't do a good enough job crushing my spirit to change my mind, I'm following through on that promise. Remember when I said I was avoiding my villain era? Well, it's more about the state of mind one is in while being in that position. And it's hard to understand the subtle reality that you can piss off people just by being happy. Some people can look at you in your situation and be utterly confused as to why you have so much optimism about you and everything going right in your life. Some will even go as far as thinking there's something wrong with you that you're not seeing it and take it upon themselves to rain on your parade or attempt to sabotage your happiness or content in life just to prove that you should feel a way about the position you're in. People will poke all types of holes in your dreams and ambitions just to burst your bubble and ensure curiosity of not understanding how you're able to do so well will become an obstacle that you will inevitably have to deal with. And for the people who look up to me the most, I try my best to be as honest as possible. When you're not like the rest, it doesn't take much for you to stand out. Even when it's not always obvious people are watching, they are. I always get taken aback when I catch a little black girl staring at me in the grocery store or something, minding my own business and realizing just how much that visual confirmation is needed to affirm whether or not it's possible. I could be doing the most mundane, literally just existing type shit and inspire so much onto others. I've always been ahead of my time. So much so that my role model is my younger self. And trust me, I know exactly how that sounds. I wish I had a better answer for that, but it's true. Whenever I need help or get stuck, I refer back to my old journal entries. It's the past problems that can help me with my current situations. Somehow I got out of that, and somehow I'll get out of this. Thanks for watching. After that, I pretty much just focus on what's going to make me comfortable and happy. Right now, I'm not really sure. That's, that's the beauty of it. I'm leaving space for me to have the ability to work out later, um, to shower later, to get ready later. I can eat. I've already made ramen earlier. That's what I put away. And I've already kind of cleaned my desk area, so that's why it's not horrendous like it could be. The bottom half, the bottom half could use some work, but Again, it's what's making me happy, not perfection, okay? Yeah, sometimes if I get to this procrastination thought process, not knowing what to do next, I'll literally just lay here and watch YouTube until I get inspired to do something else. But I definitely do want to work out at some point of the day. It doesn't have to be right now. I definitely want to make a proper dinner or a lunch, probably the next time I get hungry. I do want to get ready, but I kind of have nothing to get ready for. There doesn't need to be a reason. I just, that's just what I want to do. That's kind of it for now. I'm going to call your mama. Call her. Imagine those type of bits. <laughs> pizza, pizza.